So we are playing true or false. Queen Lady is gonna give us her truth, or she's gonna say false. And in some instances, she's gonna have to tell us why. Oh no! So, are you ready? I think so. <laughs> Single people have more satisfying sex than married couples. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why do you say that? It's not about you being married or not, but the sex drive is there and you guys can hop like <laughs> the rabbits and do it. <laughs> Honestly, it, it has nothing to do with the marriage or not. Sex is sex. <laughs> Cohabitation before marriage decreases the chance of divorce. Yeah. According to stats, yes. According to Lego. <laughs> if it's over, it's over, bro. Okay. Yeah. Men are threatened by women who are successful. Hey, <laughs> how many? Double, triple, true. <laughs> Why do you think that is, Lego? I just feel like there are certain men that don't take their self-development seriously and evolve and make sure that they reach a certain level of where they like have, you know? They are just okay with a 9 to 5 as long as I provide for my family and we eat. It ends there. So when you start hustling and doing other things, it's like, whoa. Or maybe other women because they like these women, when they are successful, they start treating the people in such and such a manner, so okay. it goes both ways. Women are more eager to marry than men. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we are, we don't know the difference between a wedding and a marriage. Okay. It's all about the white and the her uh, and the ah. Uh. Yeah. Right. The last question says, born again Christians are just likely to divorce, and people not born again. I'm born again. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much, Lady. <laughs> Let's do the next thing. <laughs> so we are playing a hedge game. Okay. We have some spicy questions for you. So you're gonna pick a question and then tell us what you think. Oh Lord. <laughs> Good and please read it to us. <laughs> <laughs> you can be young, divorced, and blessed. Look at me. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I am young, divorced, and blessed. If 36 is young, yes. All right. Yeah. No. Visitation can be denied if my ex doesn't pay child support. No. It has nothing to do with the kids. My ex don't pay child support, but over the past two weekends, the kids have been at his house. It has to do with him being a dad and spending and having a relationship with them. As far as the maintenance is concerned, we will meet in court. Next. <laughs> Hell no, I did. You just didn't try hard enough. I did. Maybe my hard enough was not good enough. I did. You want to give the last question? Yes, we can do the whole back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last one. It's your fault because it takes two to tango. Can you read out the question loud for us? It's your fault because it takes two to tango. Mm -hmm. If it took two to tango, why is it my fault when we were both tangoing? So we both messed up. Oh God. Regrets? Going in and thinking it's going to be civil, the divorce. I honestly thought we are such Christians and it's just going to be like, you know what, we tried. Let's be good for the kids. Yeah, that is my regret. Going into my divorce thinking it's going to be civil. It is not. It's like a world war, I don't know what. Last one. <laughs> Are you friends with your ex? He doesn't answer my calls, so we not. 
Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> no problem. If you like this uh, video, please give it a thumbs up. And um, if you have any comments or suggestions, please, please put them in the um, comment section. Yes. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>